It's 2010 Smith Madrone Cabernet Sauvignon. This is, I think, um, in a lot of ways, typical Smith Madrone Hillside Spring Mountain Cabernet in the sense that it has ageability built into it. I would expect this wine to live for and improve for the next you know, 35 or 40 years. Who knows, maybe beyond that even. It's a combination of black currant, red currant flavors, black cherry, bright cherry, um, these things kind of meshing both on the palate and in the aroma itself modified by the addition of 6% uh, Cabernet Franc and 9% Merlot. Aromatically, uh, it's hard for me to describe the influence of the Cabernet Franc on the wine, but there's no question that if you know what to look for, you can smell a little bit of the Cabernet Franc right in the center of that wine. Sometimes when it appears in subtle uh, ways in, in, in when it's manifested in, in wines in small quantities, sometimes these um, the Cabernet Franc influence can lead to a kind of um, cigar box leathery kind of quality on the, in the aroma, and I think that's I think that would be characteristic of this wine as well. A little a little touch of that for sure, and that's the Cabernet Franc. Uh, the Merlot uh, is giving it a little. It's making it a little. It's a little fleshy on the palate, and the the uh, uh, influence of the Merlot and the Cabernet Franc as well are, are, are sort of fleshing out the bottom, the center of the wine. It has a nice kind of creamy, fleshy quality. This, this wine just smells lovely. Uh, 